Right, Brad Alls, since we're doing a article on a female pilot today, I figured it'd be fun to make paper airplanes and hold a competition so you can throw it the furthest. You game? Yeah. Awesome, we'll do it at the end of the video, but first we're going to talk about Helen Ritchie. <laughs> Helen Ritchie is a trailblazing female pilot known primarily for being the first commercial pilot of the female persuasion, a job she quit after only a few months because it didn't let her engage in her true passion of doing cool flips and all that kind of shit. So who was Helen Ritchie then? Well, if you were just listening just like five seconds ago, she was a female pilot known for being the first female commercial airline pilot in the US. You, you got that right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, cool, cool. She was born in 1909, which was a time when it was considered strange for a woman to even be outside of the kitchen long enough to look at a plane, let alone fly one. It wasn't a good time to be born a woman with aspirations of flying in the air. Her trip to become a pilot was difficult for her. Well, it would have been if she didn't have the two most valuable assets for a person who wants to achieve their dreams. A complete and utter lack of fucks and a really, really rich dad. Isn't that always the way? It's a really inspirational story, but it kind of sours it a bit when you find out the reason she was so successful is not because of hard work and trying to know she's had a really fucking rich dad. He was paid for <laughs> So her dad supported her? He was really supportive, in fact. Um, when he first heard that she wanted to become a pilot rather than being, what is it like, what are they called? Assholes? And telling her that, oh, yes, you're a woman, like that's not a thing that they do. He went, yeah, go fucking, go for it, love. Yeah, fucking do it. And when she got her pilot's license at age 20, rather than saying, well, now you've done that, maybe go to be a homemaker, meet a man. He went, no, no, I bought a fucking plane. Imagine like how much of a kick in the dick that is for all those people on Sweet 16 who get bought a car when they find out like, in 1909 there was this girl who's got a fucking plane. So what did she do when she got a pilot's license? Well literally the first thing she did was apply to be a stunt pilot because, and I'm not making this up, in the 1930s and 40s the only career option available to a woman with a pilot's license was being a stunt pilot. Seriously? Yeah. How fucking stupid is that? You can fly a plane upside down but you're not allowed to fly with passengers on it. So was she a good stunt pilot? She was a fucking amazing one. Can you please put in a clip, these are one of my favourite types of YouTube videos, of someone getting a remote control plane. You know the ones, and they're always the same. And it's a guy, and you can tell that he's there with his wife or his girlfriend or his children, and they don't want to be there. And they drive out to a fucking field, and it's always windy, and he's always wearing an anorak. And you know he's in the entire car, oh, it's gonna be really great kids, it's gonna be fucking great. Come on, you're gonna love this, I've built this, we're gonna do it together as a family, as a couple, as a husband and wife. And it'll fly, and the first thing it does is takes up and either hits power lines, crashes straight into the ground, or my personal favourite is the one the guy does it, and the remote control stops working, it just flies <laughs> off and doesn't stop. Back to, what's she called? <laughs> you don't Helen Ritchie. Show some fucking respect, mate. Do you have a specific example of something incredible that she did? Yes, there is a really good story of a something she did with another female pilot called Francis Marcel. I apologise for not pronouncing that correctly. French isn't my first, second, third or fourth language. Uh, she wanted to set a record for the most time spent flying in the air. And I think the eventual record they did was nine days and 21 hours while they were getting refuelled. A tear got put in the wing and you're in mid-air and there's a hole in your wing so already there's reason to panic there neither woman panicked in fact they were more pissed off about the fact that they might have to land so rather than land start again it's like you know what i'm just gonna go out there and fix it so helen and this is fucking true she crawled out onto the wing because obviously her experience was a stunt pilot she was used to doing that sort of thing without any safety equipment with a needle and thread that she just sort of happened to have on her and just stitched the hole back up Went back in and then they set the record. That's incredible. Yeah, that's fucking amazing. And obviously you don't crawl onto the wing of a plane and fix it in mid-flight and not have people hear about it. So she was able to parlay that into her job as an airline pilot. So that, that's the job you said she quit after a few months? Yes, because even though she could fly planes upside down, a lot of men wouldn't fly with her. And Central Airlines, the airline she worked for and that hired her, mostly as a PR move, wouldn't let her fly any plane with passengers. They only let her fly in fair weather conditions in a straight line carrying cargo or mail. Just imagine how fucking insulting that would be. 
So you can fly a plane upside down, you crawl onto the wing of a plane mid-flight and repair it without any safety equipment. You can do loop the loops, you can do barrel rolls. You are the greatest stunt pilot in the world. You are better than 99 fucking percent of anyone you ever look at at flying a plane. Only 99%. Wish you had a mirror. I'm trying to think of a parallel. Because there isn't many parallels you can think of with any job like that. Imagine, um, like a, I don't know, a stunt driver, or like a Formula One driver applying to be a taxi driver. <laughs> it's like, oh, sorry, mate. The Central Airlines were like, oh no, passengers wouldn't feel safe if they knew a woman was flying the plane. Well, you could also tell that this woman is that same woman they read about in the newspaper who flew for nine days straight without any help and then crawled out onto the wing and repaired a big hole in it. So I feel safe knowing that the person who's willing to go out onto the wing and repair it mid-flight if something was going wrong. So people didn't feel safe with her flying, despite the fact that she could probably do the entire flight upside down. Yeah. Jesus so you can probably see why she quit after about two months. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Why not like, comment, subscribe? But in the meantime, we're going to do our little paper airplane trade competition. This is our editor, Brad. Say hi, Brad. Hello. This is one he made. I'm going to show you how you can make a record-breaking airplane, if you want to do this at home with your friends, in about two seconds. There we go. Now let's see who can go further. So I guarantee you I can throw this shit further than you can throw this thing. You ready to see who's playing superior then? The Carl Mark I or the Brad? Shitburger 9000. <laughs> not biased at all. So we'll go with yours first. I'll, pro I'll throw it properly, I'm not going to take the piss. So where should we aim? Uh, I've got between those two trees in shot, so... Yeah, two trees, okay. Um, not bad. Not bad. It's pretty obvious when you start making ball-shaped planes. <laughs> Don't get that. Don't mind. <laughs>